Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanjay. Today we're back with another video, and it is the beginning of the month, which means we're gonna wrap things up with regards to our previous month in our monthly episodes of favorites, the monthly favorites. This is where I talk about my recent fashion pickups, any books that I've been listening to, books that I've been listening to, any books that I've read, any music that I've been vibing to, and any movies that I've seen. Now, as you can see from the title of this video, we're gonna do things slightly differently. We're actually gonna be talking about m movies for slash documentary TV first and as the title suggests your boy was on BBC and I didn't know how to approach this topic just because it's something that I've never really raised with you guys on this channel it is a piece that went live on BBC 3 and it's called my Asian alter ego and it follows four creators all based around England that have Asian background now to all your American viewers in the UK when we refer to Asians to the most part and for most people we often think of South Asians basically obviously Chinese people and, and all sorts of Southeast Asians all those guys are included in the bunch but in the UK when we refer to as someone being Asian the first thing that we think of is someone that's from South Asia as opposed to you guys when someone refers to someone as Asian you think of or um, Eastern Asians yeah Eastern Asians but anyway Going off a tangent here, so the BBC piece was following four creators and it's just talking about the, I don't want to say the difficulties, but uh, how we approached the world of social media and in my case anyway, the world of fashion. Now the reason why I wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about it is because these pieces are very easily edited to be seen as like a sob story. Oh look at me, I'm not a white male and I've struggled to get to where I am and that is definitely not the message that I wanted to send across. Basically documenting, or I say documenting, it's just me expressing and talking about my journey through how I got into fashion, how my family looked at it, answering a few other questions which I feel like you guys might find interesting. So I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description box down below. And if you do check it out, it is very much appreciated. And yeah, man, I feel like it isn't just for Asians. I feel like a lot of people can and hopefully will relate to it, regardless of your background and any other jazz. I don't have one particular style. You don't have to be boxed into one category. Whether one day you're Asian or one day you're British or one day you're, you're whatever, I don't necessarily believe that. I think it can be every single one of them. So we're going to move on to clothes. And now the focus on this video is going to be trousers. I've picked up three trousers. One of them you've already seen, the other two you haven't. So let me talk you through it. And we're going to start off with the more accessible of the bunch. And that is these beautiful sort of off-white really 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 light I think hold up let me just pull up my phone because I did come across the name I think they might have used the term ecru yeah it's called the Alabama ecru denim jeans and that is from weekday it is part of their limited edition collection I think the collection is called natural born natural born human and it comes at a sweet price of 70 quid now immediately right off the bat this is actually a pair of women's jeans they have them in men's but one of the key details that I absolutely loved about these jeans is the slit that you come across right at the front this wasn't available in the men's pair of jeans the cut was straight whereas now it kind of flares out because of this and I absolutely loved it and I picked them up these are a size 40 so if you are looking to get these and you're a size 30 waist regularly 13 jeans if you can go to your nearest weekday store and try these on and I reckon you'll either be a size 38 or a size 40 just such a beautiful beautiful pair of jeans man for 70 quid as well I can't believe it the color was awesome the stitch detailing that can be found at the front the split as I said at the bottom kind of gives it this really nice flared action when you're wearing it with boots it Oof, it's just it's just an awesome awesome pair and uh, one that I wish they did in the men's section But they didn't it comes in a variety of colors do check them out from weekday and something that I've decided to do for this video as well Is to kind of show you guys how I've decided to pair it up now truth be told when doing the styling for this video I think I kind of went ham like not ham, but like I really pushed the uh, the envelope out there take from it what you will you can either go as crazy and as loud or you can tame it down. I posted a picture up on my Instagram where the outfit is a bit more tame and on this video it's a bit more out there. So we've got these paired up with the Calvin Klein boots, the one with the red stripe cowboy boots with the metal toe cap. On top we've got my polonium shirt, the black one, the one with the half placket. It's just beautiful, awesome, flows really nicely, da -de da And then on top I threw on the gold silk Kira bomber man it is a thing of beauty and i think it really complements all the colors and just looks awesome with everything put together moving on to the second pair of trousers you guys would have already seen these if you watched my instagram followers styling the off-white jordans unc and it's actually a pair of trousers that you guys picked up and the reason why i wanted to talk about it was because i felt like in that video i didn't really discuss it i didn't really 
I showed you how it fits on body, but I didn't really discuss it or talk about it. And a lot of people asked me questions. So this is actually a vintage number. It is from Wrangler, and I believe this is their 70s cut. It has a tiny bit of a flare action. When you put the bottom to the knee, there's only like, I want to say less than an inch difference. So it's more of a straight forward slash wide leg with a bit of a flaring going on. Absolutely love the colours on this man. Plus for a grand total of 45 pounds. Absolute bargain in my opinion. I think it can be worn with so many different things, be it some colours that you want to block against it or be it patterns, which is how I've done it for this video. Wear it with boots, wear it with, with sneakers, with, with whatever. Awesome, awesome pair, super versatile. Add a bit of colour to your fall winter wardrobe as well. Now for the outfit with these trousers, I threw on a shirt a leopard print but if you take a closer look at the shirt itself it's almost an illustration of a woman that's just been plastered everywhere at least that's the way that i see it and this shirt is from fabien chapeau again links to everything will be in the description box down below this is actually once again a woman's shirt that i got in a size extra large love the pattern i love the way that it feels and flows and this material is often found with women's shirt as opposed to men's hence why i had to go and copy it from a women's section so so sick you tuck it into those trousers and then you've got the boots to kind of finish it all up. We've got the trustworthy Salon black leather wires with the harness. And if you really want to go out all 70s pimp from Colombia or from anywhere in South America, you throw on the Panama hat. Mine is from Lock & Co. Love it. This is again, very out there. You don't have to push it as far as that. I just think it's awesome and it's something that I would definitely be wearing in a place like the south of France or, or somewhere in Italy, Spain, that sort of vibe. London, mm, but somewhere where there's a bit more of a climate, it's a bit more hot. This is this is just perfect. So I absolutely love this. And then last but certainly not the least, we have the craziest pair and also the most expensive pair. And that is from your boy Craig Green when he came out with these trousers for fall winter 18. These I copped from Dover Street Market. They're available there. They're available on Mr. Porter, Essence, the whole lot. Anyone that carries Cray Green has them. And I think these retail for a grand total of 700, I want to say 735, but I don't recall exactly what the, um, what the price tag was. But man, steep, very steep, but so, so sick. And one that I definitely want to keep for a very long time. Like this is a pair of trousers that you just, well, anyway, I could be chatting poopers here, but I think will go down in the Craig Green's great works that he's done basically across the years. Love the colors. It comes in a variety of colors as well. I want to say there's two, three, potentially even four options. I feel like this is definitely the most, or one of the most tame ones. There's one with some pink on the back, which I love. There's another one with yellow across it, which is awesome. It's like a mixture of green and yellow. This is a bit more on the, on the blue, navy, and the green side of things. Everything kind of works harmoniously. Harmoniously, what a beautiful word. Today, the news that right, harmoniously. Hum hmm. Either way, love the colors, love the fit, super wide, cropped, elasticated waistband. I went with a size medium, cray green, trousers. I don't know, man, their cuts are just super, super weird to me. Like, I small, it's just ridiculously tight on me, so I always go for a size medium with cray green trousers. Two pockets at either side, two pockets in the back. You've got the, the flying tassels everywhere, very sort of Native American vibes. Absolutely love it. Now the outfit for this guy is fairly tame when you've got such a loud pair of trousers. I don't tend to over complicate it. So we've just got a white t-shirt and truth be told I could have just left it there. I decided to throw on the Raph Simmons sleeveless gilet for slash knit. I just think it just adds a really cool touch and really cool look to it. We've got some black socks on and my black Marcel loafers. And we've got the market cap from Cactus Plant Flea Market. A lot of you guys have been asking where it's from. That is the brand. I don't think it's still available, but check Grail, check eBay, check Bump, check wherever you can uh, you can you can come across them maybe potentially. And yeah, that is going to conclude the three trousers that I picked up this month. I am super gassed to style these guys and include them in my wardrobe and get them in the rotation. The jeans, awesome, the trousers. And the cray green, truth be told, it's not going to be an everyday, but man, I think they're so, so sick. And uh, I'm gassed to getting a lot of good wear out of them. Now, 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 we are going to move on to the music favorites, where I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 songs that I've been vibing to this month. Some of them might be old, some of them might be new. Enjoy. Not even dissing, it just ain't for me. All I am simply is just an MC. Maybe Stan just isn't. Walk away my toolie, what they do? 
Meet me in the alley with the truck. No video dance, make my own rules. I really don't pick, I just choose. I don't set picks, I just shoot. Chopping is screwed. By the blunt, it done died off, yeah. Ride off, ride. bitches ride off. Asking me what the fuck happened to hip hop. I said I don't have any answers, cause I took a nap when I dropped my last album. It hurt me like hell. Overpaid, underrated. I never just stepped in. I can do your girl, is girl that Oh, team diamonds is real. Show them how to shine by themselves. You need a co. That's why they call it a real cage. To lock all And then to conclude this episode of the monthly favorite, we're going to move on to books and the books that I've read that I'm going to sing its praises because I. Love this. It's Dan Brown's new book called Origin. Mate, this is a sick book. I love this. It is so good. Dan Brown, if you guys aren't aware, is the guy that has written Inferno, The Lost Symbol, Angels and Demon, and most famously known for the Da Vinci Code. If you've seen the movies, if you've read the books, I love, love his work, man. I think he's such a great storyteller. And this book just falls in that line of just beautiful storytelling. It's engaging, it kept me interested. I love sort of thrillers, mystery, and the beautiful thing about this is it combines two of like, two of my passions, you could say, where it's about art, sciences, well that's more than two, it's about art, sciences and religion and faith. Awesome book, a ton of history, a ton of art references as well with regards to Gaudi, Gordy, however you pronounce it, Gordy's work which I had the privilege of visiting whilst I was in Barcelona as well so I'm so so gassed about it. Such a sick book man, definitely definitely recommend it to you guys especially if you're a fan of Dan Brown, this is one that I would recommend. <laughs> to conclude this video right here thank you ever so much for your continued support for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below which one was your favorite trousers and how would you pair them up because i know i went crazy but that's my shit you know every now and again you gotta just boom just go out there kill it for those asking the beanie is from noah the t-shirt is from one of one is one of haha <laughs> One of, no puns intended, but one of my favorite t-shirts that I own currently. So, so good. Like the cuts, the fits, the weight, everything is on point. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here in this corner, right here, mate. S-A-N-G-I-E-V. That is for my Instagram, Twitter, and snubs. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.